Good morning to Carmel, Kokomo and Martinsville on this Monday. And today we're shedding light on an issue that's impacting thousands of families across our state. In fact, the heart of downtown Indianapolis right now is lit in purple. WRTV's Kelsey Anderson explains why this day matters. Kelsey, good morning. Hey, good morning, Raphael. So like you said, and as you can see behind me, the circle is lit up purple this morning and will be basically until the sun rises. And as you can see on the IPL building, it says OD awareness, all of this for overdose awareness day. It's a day to acknowledge the grief felt by families and friends whose loved ones have died from a drug overdose. Overdose awareness day also spreads the message that the tragedy is preventable. Last night, those who lost last night, those who lost their lives to an overdose were honored and remembered at the Indiana State Museum. Overdose Lifeline hosted the event and organizers say they wanted to give grieving friends and family members a place to be together and not feel alone. We talked to a couple who lost their 25 year old son in June of last year to substance use disorder and a month later, their sister in law died from the same thing. They say they hope to help prevent other families from experiencing this tragedy. Erasing the stigma, it never meant as much as it has to us since we've um, experienced our loss and um, now it's become more prevalent to ourselves seeing how society has stigmatized mental illness and substance abuse now for, for many, many years and you know, we're slowly, slowly starting to see that be erased, but there's still a lot of work to do, right? By families not discussing it, they're implying that there's something wrong, there's a flaw, a character flaw with their loved ones when in fact, you know, addiction and or mental illness, it's, it's a disease. Right. It's a brain issue. Yeah. And uh, we yeah. were proud of our son. Yeah. He tried very hard, and we're proud of everybody that fights this battle. Um, with this, there's often no care plan. With other diseases, there is a care plan. A naloxone training session was held at yesterday's event, and organizers say it's especially important during the COVID-19 pandemic. So according to the state's records, naloxone has been used 60% more this, this year than it was last year by EMS. Reporting live, Kelsey Anderson, WRTV.